Hey everybody and welcome back to Hatch 2.0. If you guys haven't done the upgrade yet, this is a paid upgrade from Hatch 1 to Hatch 2. Go to wilcom.com slash hatch and get moving on it. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery. And today, this is what we're gonna be doing, working in Hatch 2.0, and I'm gonna show you in depth more of the new things that are going on. So today, I decided to start with one of the best things that I'm so happy with is the photo stitch and it seems to be working really well I had time to play with it this morning and I just wanted to show it to you guys we could do a little bit of troubleshooting and I'll show you guys how it's done but I think you can come up with fantastic um, artwork for this and Hatch actually does a fantastic job of it okay so to get started I wanted to show you guys in your design library there is a wealth of things to practice, to work with, to do inside here. And this is all provided for you by Hatch for free. So it is within your software, the digitizing level, of course, because we're talking about digitizing. And I want to make sure you guys know how to use it properly. So one of the things is here, you have to find it under embroidery and artwork, and there's tons of stuff. Right now, I am in the artwork, but I'm not seeing any pictures. Now, this is because of this right here. So if you're not seeing pictures, you can change all the views and everything. But see right here, it says showing. So you have to tell Hatch what you want to see. And you can be very specific about it, which is really handy. Um, I think it will save you a lot of time searching stuff. But I want to see artwork files. So all embroidery files, all machine files, which would be PES, you know, that sort of thing, and all artwork. So if you don't have artwork selected, it's not going to be showing you artwork. So we want to select artwork. And look, here we go. How cool is that? So these are pictures that are specifically designed. And this one says right on it, auto digitizing so if you wanted to play around with the auto digitizing which of course we will do in another video that's where you can start and play around manual digitizing now you can see all the pictures i'm loving this one i think that's absolutely fantastic but there's so many to start off with even a sugar skull even steampunk how cool is that so there are quite a few things quite a few resources i'd even call them in here and artwork vectors and you can't see them because uh, they, they're EPS files, but you can bring them into Hatch and check them out. They kind of tell you lilium, rose, flowers. We'll play around with that one as well. So let's go to just artwork and it's going to show me all the artwork and we're going to flip through it. That is not what I want. Hatch one pictures. This is all fabric. Isn't that cool? And we'll go over where you can use these. Oh, isn't that nice? I just wanted to detour and flip through it. Yeah, this is all fabric that you can use for applique and different backgrounds and stuff. And they've really added on to it. These are really cool too, a onesie. So you can test your design, not test stitch it, but test how it'll look on a onesie. Um, guest towels, dish towels. Um, I've done a video on it and it's actually quite fantastic and I'm glad they've added some other things to it. So if you go under here where it says hatch pictures and again make sure your all artwork files is on you could see all the hatch pictures and what I want to do is one of these pictures and we're gonna play around with the picture stitch on it. So I am this is a JPEG let's see how big it is 436 by 395 it's not very big so let's double click on that it's going to bring it right in and it shows you right here that it's a picture so it uh, opens up everything for you so let's do the color photo stitch to start off with so once you click on it and it is under the auto digitize because that's basically what it is 
you can mess around with it until you get the look that you want. This is the JPEG that you brought in and this is the preview. So you can adjust the resolution, change the resolution, press apply and see if you like how that works. You can adjust the picture, you can zoom in and check everything out. You can change the colors as well. Now, what this will do will add in more detail or take away more detail. But keep in mind, you know, you can do 20 colors and have a really good picture, but you have to change the thread 20 times. So it depends on what you want to do, but see the difference. So I added three more colors and it brought in a lot of the detail work. Let's do say 15. So adding, see, and it looks different again. Now these are all the colors. This is gonna be the hard part, is matching up those colors as close as you can, but make sure that you have the threads before you do this. So if you're pick, picking a picture, <laughs> that was hard to say for some reason. If you're picking a picture, make sure you have the threads for it. So let's go the other way and let's do, you know, less. It started off at seven. Now see the big difference. So you need to play around with it a little bit. And if you don't like it, there's, there's quite a few things you can change, but that is a good place to start. See, for me, that isn't quite enough detail work. So you, you can play around with it and get the look that you want. I would advise, you know, experimenting just a little bit on it. Now, you have to have good pictures to be able to do this. If you're bringing in a tiny thumbnail picture, it's not gonna be able to pick up on the detail. And I'm gonna show you why. When you zoom in, do you see how this is pixelated. So if you have one that's completely pixelated like this, say when you bring it up, that is uh, going to make it more difficult to do. So small and high resolution is what you want. But you can see this one works just fine. So I'm going to settle on 10 colors because I think it really, really does a good job on the puppy dog there. He's really cool. So I'm going to do okay. And before we even do that, I can see behind me that it has put the colors in and I can see here the blocks. Uh, you can't do anything, but I can see the blocks developing. I kind of like that. So let's do apply and let's do okay. And look at that. Boom, it is done. Now we can look at the pieces. So you need a dark brown, a light brown, you know, different colors there. And it's going to turn out fantastic. Now you can play around. There's a lot of stitches in this guy. Let's select everything. There's a lot of stitches. So let's see, 61,000 stitches. Now I will tell you that photo stitches are very high count stitch count so expect a very long stitch out but as you can see it's gonna totally be worth it this is what it looks like without the true view on hoo -ah, that's a lot but it's a whole different technique so it's different than regular stitching so I am not going to stitch this one out um, because that's going to take a long time. Uh, I will search and see what colors I have and then I'm going to probably do one of my dash outs. So anyways, guys, play with it. Make sure you're not trying to do a huge picture because this one is quite small and it has 61,000 stitches in it. Let's see how big it actually is. It's six by five. So generally you want to fit it in a six by 10 maybe. That's kind of big. That would be a whole lot of stitches or a five by seven. Now, if you go too small, you're obviously not going to get the same amount of detail work in it either. So kind of hit it in the middle, not too big, not too small. You're going to have to experiment and you're going to have to make sure you have the colors and make sure you have the time to stitch one of these guys out. 
but I'm pretty sure it is so worth it. I am so happy with it. So play with your pictures inside Hatch 2.0 and we'll experiment and we'll work with different pictures. Make sure you do some adjustments to it and have fun stitching out. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it shows you how to do some of these picture stitch and I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video to let me know you want more videos just like this. Thanks everyone. Bye.